let's pick a video template let's go over to upload and drag a video into our design page we will use edit video to achieve our color grade they are just part of edit video so we'll be adjusting the feel of the video how we want it to look so we adjust the white balance the light the color all that this is all be making all our adjustments for each effect we are going to achieve we'll take the slider say the one to we'll slide it where we want it to be for the brightness you just walk around using the slider on each of the subheading like we want to adjust the saturation the vagueness you see what it did to the video so you just walk around using the slider and slide each of the heading where you want it to be now that we've achieved the feel we want our video to have what we want to do is to apply this to order of our clips so we'll go and duplicate this page and go dragging another video into the page we duplicated so that way it has applied the feel we have for this video let's duplicate this page again and add another clip to the third page so this way you will be adding clips to maintain a particular feel throughout your video for this we'll go over to apps and search for frame maker we'll pick the first one that comes up we'll reduce the grid columns to nine and we'll choose a frame that has four points to work with let's quickly split the first clip by clicking s on our keyboard where we'll be adding the frames to and go back to frame maker to snap those points to three we'll add that to our design and scale it out on our design page we'll go back into this frame maker and get the one that will go to the right we'll snap the bottom to four points and add to our design equally let's do that for the left part of our page let's snap the top part to seven points and this to four lines yeah we added that to our page now let's go over to position and to the video at the background and detach it from the background or we'll duplicate that into three places and start placing them into the frame so using frame you can actually use frame to create a feel if you have multiple clips you can actually use them to display clips of things happening at the same time to create speed ramp we'll be remapping the time of our clip if we go to playback we'll see that canva has a limited option of how to work on your speed but first let's go and split our clips let me show you what i mean we'll be splitting it how we want to use it because canvas speed option is quite limited so we want to walk around this we'll go into the first clip and take it to the highest which is times two speed which is what canva can give and we'll touch up other ones reduce and increase to create this speed ramp we want to achieve so you know canva already has some built-in custom transition if we go into transition you will see that there are cool transitions you could use i like to use the dissolve the line wipe and the color wipe but well, my all-time favorite is the match and move which is the best for me but we'll be creating the fade to black or the fade to white transition which is not part of canvas custom transition so let's split this clip now and go into the one we want to use these are the two clips we want it to transit from this to this we will detach this clip from the page and we'll go into the one it will transit into and also detach it from the page we'll copy this one and delete this page then paste what we've copied into the first page we're working on then we'll scale it out on our design page why we don't want to just drag and drop it into the pages i don't want it to be the background we want them to be standalone clips on their own so we can work on them individually now i want to go highlight the both of the clips 
and go to timing click the arrow facing up and adjust our clips properly so that they will have spacing between the both of them let's go over to animate and animate the first clip to fade it will fade on the exit we'll reduce the slider a bit and we'll animate the second clip to fade on enter and reduce the speed to the lowest let's preview that you see it faded to white because our background color is white let's go back into that and change a background color to black to achieve the fade to black or deep to black transition let's preview again now yeah we've achieved that quickly let me show you how i apply the color wipe transition to achieve a crossfade transition i will use this arrow and i will go into each of the color and go to the plus sign and use the color picker to select a color from my page i'll repeat it for the other three colors this way i would have consistent color in my design i would advise you use transitions wisely don't use too flashy or a lot of confusing transitions so your viewer can stay engaged motion graphics and titles is another way to add flair to your video making your video look cinematic unfortunately canva does not have auto captioning feature but you can play around adding text at different points in your video quickly let's go over to animate our text we'll be using the baseline animation we'll take the direction of the first text this way and we'll reverse the exit animation and adjust the speed how we want it so we'll go back to the second clip and apply the baseline animation also and take the direction this way and reverse the exit animation this time around we'll be increasing the speed let's go to position and then highlight the two text and go to the three dot and show timing and we'll adjust the timing how we want them to last on our page For this, we'll add a talking head video to our timeline. We we'll want to split the video into parts to show where we want the jump cuts to appear. We'll select the center clip and quickly double tap the page and scale the video out. I will want the jump cuts to appear. So jump cuts is usually used to make emphasis on the point you're trying to stress. It's mostly used in vlogs, interviews. But I would advise you use it in moderation so that your video is not jarring or distracting to the viewer. Adding B-roll to your footage is another way to make your video look aesthetic. Let's detach this clip from the background and go and get a B-roll we want to use from our element tab. Let's go to timing to reduce the timing of this B-roll to be the same as that of the video we detached from the background so there are two ways we can effectively apply b-roll to our page we can either reduce the transparency of the main clip or we extract the audio from the main clip but this video does not have audio so let's make the b-roll as our background and we will remove the transparency from our main video here is the final video i hope you like it like this video if you got value from it and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this thank you so much for watching and do have a good one